and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Christopher Roberts. Joining me now, she is from Manalapin, New Jersey. Uh, she is the owner of the Complete Herbal Guide. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Stacy Chalemi to the program. Stacy, welcome. How are you today? Hi, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. I'm doing well myself, thanks for asking, and uh, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to join us. We appreciate it. Oh, no problem, anytime. All righty, so why don't you uh, start us off, tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do. Well, I had, um, I've been in the business uh, for over 25 years. I've been a health coach. Um, I had developed epilepsy at the age of five, and it was a roller coaster ride my entire life. Uh, when I got to uh, college, I was having a very difficult time uh, dealing with the epilepsy, and um, I had written a article, and I sent it to the Epilepsy Foundation, and I asked people, how do they cope with this illness? How do they deal with epilepsy? I was, you know, from the midnight study and everything, and, uh, the stresses of college, I was taking, you know, consistent seizures at that time, and I got, you know, to my surprise, I got hundreds of letters from all over the United States and Canada people letters poured in it was so enthusiastic and motivational um i i took those letters and after i graduated from college i wrote a book because i applied a lot of the stuff that i learned to my own life and uh, it really helped me a lot and i wrote a book called epilepsy you're not alone and um it hit the uh, best sellers on the amazon chart book charts and I continued to go in that direction. People had written to me, told me that I helped them. I, you know, one person said I helped them. They were on the verge of suicide because they couldn't deal with the illness anymore. Because dealing with an illness is very hard, any illness. And they said they read my book, they read my regiments, and they, you know, they found a new way of living. And at that point, I think the, the light bulb kind of uh, went off. And I was like, you know, I, I, it, the greatest feeling is helping another individual. And I, I went in that direction. I started working with an herbalist. I started doing a lot of research for him. I learned a lot of things over the course of the years, and I applied it again to my own life. And my seizures went from 9 to 6 to 5 to 4 to 3 to they became controlled. And I started my own little website at that time. I don't know if you remember a blogger, but it was like a little website run by Google. And I started that, and I started out with 400 people. And then I went from doing that to a big website, and it grew to over 500,000 monthly visitors. And that's where I am today. I'm, you know, I've written over 20 books. I help a lot of people through all the different articles that are on the website, people, doctors, and all different experts, you know, uh, send their articles in to be published. And there's a lot of people that are learning how to help heal themselves and how to make their bodies stronger and how to reduce stress and all the other good stuff that comes along with that. Alrighty, now is there any sort of um, background or training that somebody else might need in order to, uh, you know, do what you do? You know, um, I went to college, but you know what, it, you know, when it, when it comes to being a, a, a coach, it's really a lot of uh, a lot of research. Um, you know, to, uh, you, you know, going to college, learn about the body, learn about health. Um, you know, you, you know, and actually applying it to your life. I think that's the biggest thing is, is anyone can do the research, anyone can go to college, anyone can learn this stuff, but it's really understanding it, applying it, and actually, you know, being able to use it to help others, um, you know, is the key. So it's a, it's a lot of, you know, and the medical field constantly changes. So it's a, it's a learning progression, you know, the things that, you know, new research is coming out, and there's always new things uh, to be learned and to be uh, understood. All righty. So now when somebody does reach out to you for the first time, what are they really looking for? What do you see the most of? Well, for the, you know, a lot of people reach out for all different reasons, but the most is, you know, people want to feel better. I see the biggest thing, the biggest thing that uh, I get the most of is people suffer from anxiety and stress. You know, that's one of the biggest things that I, I see all the time. And people are like, you know, we live in a go-go, rush-rush society. You know, everyone is on the go. Everyone has to do things. Everyone is constantly moving. And, you know, a lot of people don't know how to put their mind to rest. And that's the problem. And, there, you know, so many people suffer from stress and people don't realize. But over, 
80% of illnesses are caused by stress. They're stress-related. And, you know, people, the biggest thing is, is learn how to deal with stress, learn how to deal with anxiety. And so you can actually focus, live a nice, calm life. And even with COVID now, everyone's stressed, you know. People are being quarantined. People are losing income, you know, finances. You know, they see things falling around behind them, the fear of losing their job, the fear of losing their money, you know, whereas the future ahead is going to lead them. And, you know, the biggest fear right now is, is understanding, you know, how to take things day by day and understanding how to decrease your your um, anxiety and stress so you can focus and try to make the best of your situation. All righty. Now, uh, where do you see yourself moving forward? What's going to be on tap for you? Well, right now I've been doing a, a lot of videos. I've been working with a lot of people, doing a lot of uh, – um, uh, I've been on a lot of advisory boards and doing a lot of uh, – helping people with their brands and, and uh, teaching people uh, about health. Uh, but I'm really trying to focus more. I, you know, I spent my whole life working on the website and working and speaking in front of people, and I really enjoy speaking in front of people and wanted to make videos to teach people things. So I think I'm, I'm going to spend a lot of my future time trying to build that area up. All righty. And um, how can my audience reach out and contact you to find out more information? Well, I have a website. It's called thecompleteherbalguide.com, and the website uh, has uh, thousands of articles on it, and they also have an area where you can contact me. If you have any questions or if you uh, want to, you know, contact me, you can always contact me through the website. And I have a website called stacychilemi.com, and uh, you can contact me there too. But the easiest way people tend to find me is through the website, thecompleteherbalguide.com. All righty. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. It was very enjoyable speaking with you, and thank you so much for having me. Oh, you are so welcome. And uh, for everyone else out there, do stick around. We will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in, too. You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. Let's go inside the mind of a 10-year-old. I should have worn those earrings today. I like those earrings. Gabby has those awesome earrings. I need to ask her where she got those, but that's just what she would want me to do. I'll have Michaela ask her for me. Buckle up, Sarah. Yeah, but then Michaela will be like, why don't you just ask her yourself? That's just like Michaela. Sarah, buckle up. Michaela's such a great name. I wish I was called Michaela. There's like a dozen Sarahs in my class. Hey, we're not hitting the road until you buckle up, honey. Oh, yeah. Seatbelt. I forget sometimes because my brain is, like, busy, you know? I wonder if there's pizza at school today. Sometimes it can be tough to get through to your kids, but it's not impossible. Always make sure they're wearing their seatbelts, even on short drives. Remember, you have the keys, you have the power. Never give up until they buckle up. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Visit safercar.gov slash kidsbuckleup for more information. 